Before you start learning .NET and c -sharp web development, there are many mistakes that can slow you down, confuse you or even make you want to quit before you even get started properly. Learning topics out of order, watching tutorials on things you don't even need or learning frameworks you're not ready for are just some of the reasons your learning process can become harder than it needs to be. Having a clear roadmap that tells you what you need to learn and in what order is the perfect way to start. It's an actual cheat code, I would say, whether you're just about to begin your web development journey or have already started and need to know the right next step. That's exactly what we'll cover in this video, so make sure to watch until the end so that you don't miss any crucial steps along the way and I'll also give you an extra bonus at the very end. Well, welcome to Code the Future, I'm Alan, and my goal here is to help you learn C-Sharp and .NET on your own. Now let's get started. Before diving into web development or programming in general, it's important to learn some foundational concepts. I highly recommend watching an introductory course on computer science and programming. Before you start writing your first line of code, you need to understand how things like computers and the internet work so that what you're doing makes sense to you. These types of courses also explain the basic structure of the web, including concepts like HTTP, servers, browsers, and how front-end and back-end systems work. This knowledge gives you the foundation to start learning your first programming language. There are many free courses available online, including one on YouTube by Harvard called CS50, which I highly recommend. Once you're familiar with computer science basics, it's time to dive into C Sharp. C Sharp is the primary language for backend development in the .NET ecosystem, and it serves as the foundation for other web frameworks you'll learn later in .NET. Just start by learning the basics of syntax, such as variables, loops, and methods, then move on to object-oriented programming, where you'll need to focus on concepts like classes, inheritance, interfaces, and polymorphism. As you progress, you can explore more advanced topics like link, generics, and file I.O. When learning c -sharp, you'll typically start by building console applications, which are the focus of most c -sharp tutorials. After that, you'll be ready to move on to building web applications. There are plenty of resources available to help you learn c -sharp. I have also put together a playlist on YouTube and written an ebook as well called c -sharp Unlocked, where I've organized the key concepts in a concise way. If you're interested, I'll link both in the description below. The next step is to focus on improving your problem-solving skills, which is one of the most important things a programmer can do. To achieve this, you need to learn data structures and algorithms. This step can be done before learning c -sharp, while learning c -sharp, or even afterwards. Algorithms are step-by-step -step instructions for solving problems, while data structures are ways of organizing and storing data. Taking an introductory course on these topics and practicing coding challenges on platforms like LeetCode or HackerRank will greatly improve your skills and way of thinking as a programmer, whether you're working in front-end or back-end development. For web developers, whether you want to focus on the back-end or not, learning front-end development is essential. It's where the visual part of your application is built and where it interacts with users. Being able to create a simple website using front-end technologies, even if you don't dive deep into them, is essential. This way, if you understand both front-end and back-end development, you'll have a better understanding of how all parts of your application work and connect with each other. The three main technologies of front-end development are HTML, which is a markup language that defines the structure of your web page, CSS, a style sheet language used to style the web page, and then JavaScript, the only programming language out of the three, which adds interactivity and allows you to create dynamic user interfaces. I recommend starting with these three. Regarding JavaScript, don't go too far at first, as it can become quite complex. However, if you need it in the future, or if you decide to focus on front-end development, the next step would be to learn a component-based front-end framework. The most popular frameworks are React, Angular, and Vue, all of which use JavaScript. In .NET development, there's also Blazor, which uses c -sharp instead of JavaScript. However, as mentioned earlier, don't focus on learning these frameworks at the beginning. Now we arrive at one of the main steps, the backend framework, which allows us to build web applications and web APIs. This framework is ASP.NET Core. ASP.NET Core offers different approaches for rendering the UI on your web apps based on your needs. There is MVC, Razor Pages, and Blazor. I'd recommend to start by learning MVC first. 
MVC, which stands for Model View Controller, is an architecture that is widely used and provides a strong foundation. The idea is to focus on the framework that aligns with your project's goals. While Razor Pages and Blazor may or may not be necessary for your specific needs, beginning with MVC will make it easier to learn the others later if needed. As a web developer, you'll often need to work with databases to store and manipulate data. I would recommend starting by learning SQL for querying and managing relational databases. Alongside SQL, Entity Framework Core is an essential tool for backend development in .NET. It simplifies database interactions by allowing you to work with data using c -sharp objects. Begin by mastering basic crowd operations, then explore more advanced concepts like migrations, relationships between entities, and querying data effectively. Moving on to the next step, which is learning version control. Version control is a system that helps you keep track of changes in your code. The most popular tool for version control is Git, which lets you save changes to your code, share your work online, get updates from others and more. Once you're familiar with Git, you can use GitHub, which is a platform to store your code online and work with other developers. Learning Git is an important step in becoming a modern web developer as it makes collaboration and managing projects much easier. So don't skip this one. As you grow as a developer, additional skills you'll need to learn include securing your applications and testing them. Security is a critical aspect of web development. As a developer, you'll handle sensitive data and user interactions, so protecting your applications is very important. Start by learning how to implement authentication and authorization in .NET to ensure only authorized users can access certain parts of your app. Additionally, learn how to safeguard your applications from common vulnerabilities like SQL injection and cross-site scripting, just to mention a few. Testing is equally important to ensure your code works as expected. Begin by testing individual components and progress to verifying that all parts of your application work seamlessly together. And that's your roadmap to web development with c -sharp and .NET. Everything we discussed today is concisely summarized in a written PDF file, which you can download for free using the link below. This will be in the form of a guide that you can refer to whenever you need it. If you want to continue your learning journey depending on where you are, I have linked my c -sharp crash course and ASP.NET Core MVC crash course on the screen. So click on whichever one fits you best. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you in the next one.